Hi guys, it's Judith from the Intuitive Body Foodie Network and I just got back from hiking with my daughter and I wanted to show you my harvest of birch bark. There's white birch, yellow birch, and I believe there's brown birch as well. Today I harvested some white birch and we're going to make a medicinal kombucha with it. But of course we have to clean the bark first because it's pretty custy and dirty. Come and let me show you how to make medicinal birch bark kombucha. Once the birch has been separated the inside from the outside, all you want to do is just put it in a crock pot for about 8 to 10 hours with some spring water or distilled water, reverse osmosis water, well water. Just want to leave it to heat up and steep for about 24 hours. My crock pot only goes up to 10 hours. I will set it for 10 hours and then I will repeat that cycle until I've it's, until it's completed 24 hours and then I'll come back and show you the next step. The birch bark tea is ready. I'm going to strain out the literal bark and then I have some black tea starter which I'll put in here with a little bit of sugar and then I'll add the liquid from the birch bark tea. Because I have so much birch bark tea I've decided I'm just going to transfer this into here most of the liquid and use this as my SCOBY hotel for the simple fact that I've run out of one gallon jars. I'm going to have to call Uline and put in an order for more one gallon jars and have them delivered. And one thing I need to tell you is that birch bark tea, I cooked it on high for 24 hours and then left it on warm in my slow cooker for three days for 72 hours. And that will allow for all the nutrients that I want to come out of the birch bark, the anti-inflammatory nutrients to permeate through the water so it'll make it a nice medicinal tea. Instead of dirtying more jars I've decided I'm just going to put the sugar right directly into this pot, the crock pot. I'm going to add a full cup of sugar. This is a half cup measuring so that's a full cup of sugar and because this is porcelain I'm using a what do you call a silicone coated whisk and I'll just make certain that all that sugar has been incorporated, dissolved and then once it's dissolved I'll pour it into my jar and add my SCOBY. Because it's spring and the birch trees don't yet have leaves is the only reason why I haven't added leaves to this tea. That said if you're watching this video and if where you live the birch trees all already have their leaves, you can add leaves to this as well because essentially the entire birch tree is medicinal. Birch bark is where we get xylitol from. You can get it from corn too, but I would highly recommend you get it from birch bark. It's a little more expensive, but it's better for you. Technically I could and I think I will add a little more starter to this. I think I will. Just know that when you make any kombucha the more starter you use the faster it will ferment. The less starter you use the slower it will ferment. So if you want to drink it sooner than later add more starter. My starter is pretty much vinegar. It's been sitting in the back oh, over a year I know that without feeding it. Uh, and yes, the scobies will live that long. As long as there's fluid, those scobies will live without extra sugar. I know it's weird, right? That's the life, the intelligent life of bacteria and yeast. When you're dealing with medicinal kombuchas, try not to combine too many ingredients in one kombucha. The exception of that rule is unless they're incredibly synergistic. So we made a chaga, lion's mane, reishi, uh, kombucha, or kofucha I should say with coffee. And you can use that with green tea, white tea, those three different mushrooms. You can even throw cordyceps in there. Those particular fungi mushrooms are all very synergistic. So those you can put 
in one kombucha jar. But when you deal with things like birch bark and actually birch bark might even go well with, um, with either polypore because the polypore grows naturally on birch bark as does chaga. Those you could add to this and it would be a super medicinal tea. Other things that you might not want to add are things that are not as synergistic. So I wouldn't personally add astragalus or ashwagandha or anything like that into this. And you might even be able to put reishi in here. That's okay. Any fungus that grows on a tree you can put into the birch bark kombucha. I'm going to be creating a lot more medicinal kombuchas in days, weeks, months, years ahead. So if this is something that you really like, you're not yet subscribed to this channel, I highly recommend that you do and hit the notification bell, set it to all. That way you'll be alerted because I put new content out every single day now. Uh, that way you'll be alerted to any time I put out a new video. And if you have a very particular health issue uh, that you are seeking some sort of medicinal tonic like this to drink to aid you in that healing process, drop me a line either directly into my email which is in the description box below or below in the comment section of this video and providing that you're not on other medications that will be contradiction to whatever medicinal herbal tea I make, I will create a video specifically for you, a medicinal kombucha video. For today, this is what I'm creating, birch bark kombucha. And of course, if you're brand new to kombucha, if you've never made it before, if this is the first video that you've seen, I will link to this video, how to make kombucha, where I talk about how long to let it sit, and when it will be ready. I will give you a quick little primer here. If you have blood sugar issues, hypoglycemic or diabetes, you will want a longer ferment, anywhere from 21 to 30 days to get the bulk of that sugar out. And that applies also to a keto diet. If you're not on a keto diet, and you don't have blood sugar issues, then roughly after about, depending on how much starter, really it does depend on how much starter you use, the size of your vessel and how much sugar you put in. But typically it will be ready in about 10 to 12 days. I did use a fair bit of starter in this. This for me personally, because I like really low sugar food content, this I will still let sit for about 14 to 21 days before I consume it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed creating it. And until I see you in a future video, ciao for now.